Yo, what's up? It's DNA for sure. Also known as <sighs> Lord Homeboy. I need you to like this video. I need you to subscribe to this video. I need you to share this video, comment on it. Let's get this money together. Okay, so um, this video is about women and their selectivity. I don't know if that's a word, but uh, Savage City Goon Squad hashtag bang bang dead gang the benchyism. Um. Let's go. Let's start off with a story. So, everybody knows that my girlfriend, shout out to Liz, is pregnant. So, when we went, <clears throat> we went to Planned Parenthood and to the hospital, I noticed that I was getting a stink eye. And I wasn't able to go to the back with her to get her, uh, her ultrasound and her pregnancy tests and things like that and the first time we went we went to Planned Parenthood downtown across the street from Millennium Park uh, if you live in Chicago you know where I'm talking about and you know my my response was when we got in the car was you know they gave me the snake eye and this and this and this and you know they didn't let me go back in and all the fucking females in there were looking at me like I was trash and her response was um, a lot of women are getting pregnant by black men, and 50% of black men who get women pregnant, they, they leave their children, and, uh, uh, most dudes that don't, who find out that they're pregnant, they just want to live their lives, and they, uh, they tell them to get rid of it, or give it up for adoption, or things like that, and, that's bullshit. As as women, you guys need to take fucking responsibility. It's not a black man's fault that you fucked a black man and that you got pregnant and that you got abandoned. That that's that is a shared responsibility. You let the nigga put his dick in you. You chose the nigga. You gave him the okay. If you didn't get raped, if you didn't get drugged, if you didn't get forced, if you didn't get bamboozled, if you didn't get hoodwinked, that is a 50-50. It's your fault, just as much as his, that that nigga abandoned you. I'm not saying that, that you are to blame. When niggas robbed me and fucking finessed me out of shit, I was I was so ignorant to the motherfucker's cues that this guy would be a grimy motherfucker that that happened. You gave him permission. It's ultimately up to you. As men, our form of attraction comes in 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 the form of presenting what we have. And playing on your cues to go ahead with the process, which ultimately ends in fucking and busting nuts. So at the end of the day, it's more of a 70-30. You chose the nigga that was going to abandon you. You chose him. He presented you his, his peacock feathers. You gave him the green light and we fucked. And you just so happen to choose the one out of two niggas that was going to fuck you, busting you, and leave you, and never talk to you again. Or suggest that you get an abortion, or give it away, or we weren't going to fuck with you anymore. You know, we don't have a choice as far as who we fuck. When you give us the green light, <clears throat> if you gave us the green light, there's not many females that just walk up to a nigga like, hey... Let's go, let's do this. There's a, there's a small amount of females. I will have to say maybe one out of six, one out of eight females will approach a guy, get him, hook him, bite him and tie him. You know, there's not a lot of females. I'm sure not a lot of dudes have been approached by a sober, well put together woman who wasn't overly provocative and attractive all at the same time, fucked her, went home, Ain't got to fucking live to tell the fucking story. Maybe. 
But we presented it to you. Hey, I just wanted to tell you and you <laughs> or you. Uh, mm, I have a boyfriend. So, uh, it's it, it's it's you guys abandoning your children, suggesting abortion, suggesting fucking giving the baby up for adoption. That's not a black thing. It's these females who are choosing these guys, who are giving them the green light without knowing everything about them. Enough about them, noticing the signs, or giving it enough time for this guy to really either slip up or prove to you, like, hey, I am the person that's not going to do the bullshit. You don't care. You don't care as much as these dudes who run away don't care. And it's your fucking body, which is so sad. So when I walk into a Planned Parenthood office space, when I walk into a hospital, I don't expect for women, just because I kind of had the idea that that was the, the reason or the statistics behind my people, black men specifically, being discriminated against and being responded to as such. I shouldn't expect that because it's not a black thing to do that. That's not in our culture. That doesn't come from Africa. That comes from you choosing bullshit ass motherfuckers. I don't know the statistics on white children being abandoned by their by their fucking by their dads. Maybe the statistics is so different because in this country, white men are not commercialized as being sexually desirable. So maybe that's why the statistics are so much lower. Maybe when white women get with white dudes, they really want to build families with these people and they really want to build real relationships with these people. Maybe when white women or other race women get with black men, they just want to hit and quit. They just want to have a fucking one night stand. They just want to taste the fucking heroin, get doped up, lean, wake up and go to work. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why, you know, maybe that has a lot to do with it. But don't get mad. Don't fucking give me the stink eye because I'm actually there. You know, I mean. You're there to get an abortion. You're there to get your abortion bill. You're there to get information on adoption. Or even to find out if you're pregnant or not. Don't get mad at me. You gave the nigga the green light. Went with the nigga. Let him inside you. Fucking. And went on with the rest of the process. I don't have any anger towards women or white women because they think that they have some kind of resentment towards people who look like me but it is a little frustrating and when I do things I'm expected to take responsibility for my actions pay the consequences accept the reward or the punishment for it and I don't I mean I hate fucking police officers most of them but I don't say, oh no, because I'm only, I've only been arrested this many times because fuck the police. It is fuck the police. I hate fucking police officers. Most of them, the ones that I haven't met, I hate them. But if they, if they fucked with me and they were on bullshit, yeah, I hate those motherfuckers too. The ones that I never met, no, they're the enemy. Black men are not your enemy. The black men that you choose are your enemy. The men that you choose, whether they're black, white, Hispanic, Arab, Asian, European, mixed breed, they're your enemy. If they did the same shit, they're your enemy. So it's your choice. Don't make me feel bad for something I can't control. That's wrong. 
I don't like this type of woman because it's something that is totally 100% in their control. I can understand if you got abused by a black man, if you got raped by a black man, and this is why you're in Planned Parenthood right now. But that's totally unfair. And one of the most joyous occasions in my life that's only going to last nine months. And then it's going to be the second most joyous occasion in my life. Besides being able to fucking actually jack off and bust. Don't make me feel bad. That's fucking, that's lame. It's rude for you to be staring me down and giving me the stink eye at the same damn time. It's your responsibility. All the times, I never blamed. I did blame the nigga. I have done that. But at the same time, I took responsibility. The nigga that I'm talking about. When I met the nigga, he was trying to fucking hit me for a fucking cigarette. He asked me for a cigarette. That's how I met him. Him begging like a fucking bum and trying to sell me drugs and telling me he didn't have a phone because he wasn't doing shit with his life. But he had a Facebook. Those three signs and he didn't have a job and he didn't have an ID and he was homeless. Those five signs... Six signs should have told me, look, green light, green light.